Hey, it's Ocean Sims and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a creative sim makeover or a tony makeover I meant on the Beatas. And if you didn't know, the Beatas are my favorite personally, my favorite family from City Living. The City Living expansion pack is probably like one of my favorites too. It's full of culture, life. I feel like that was like one of the first expansion packs for The Sims 4 that kind of like added like legit cultural like foods and festivals and it was just like a totally different dynamic. So I I love that I'm back in San Myshuno right now. Um, and the Vitas live in two A Jasmine Suites, which is in the Spice District in San Myshuno. And I renovated their apartment because this is going to be like a three part series where I renovate their apartment um, and I give them a makeover too. And then then we play with them. So I'm gonna I'm so I'm so excited to play with them. I couldn't play with them until I gave them a makeover. And to be honest with you, it was a long makeover. It took me about an hour and 15 minutes because I was sifting through so many outfits. They are CC free. They only have like a default skin. The default skin that I normally use, Lumia's vanilla skin, that's the one that they have. And I just absolutely love it. It is my go-to. I've been using it for as long as I can remember, like two years now, like two and a half years now. So I don't plan on changing my default skin and you guys know for those of you who know me i swear by lumia's vanilla skin because i just love it um but i didn't really have to change much and let me just say that rn beta is so fine he is so fine i love that i get to play with him and i can just like have him and jasminder just oh my gosh just be so lovey because this is one family that i don't interrupt like i never try to break up a happy home with them like i just don't i feel wrong for it like if you try to break this couple up you're just like crappy like come on because the vita is really like they are like the goths you don't you don't you just don't like that's another well i don't know i, I think i have had i think i have um, tried to come at Bella one time in like previous saves, but the Vitas are sacred. They're sacred. They feel like wholesome. Okay. They don't, they don't scream infidelity to me and I love them. They are also expecting a baby on the way, which I asked you guys, like when you play with this family, do you normally have like a boy or a girl or whatever? And a lot of you said twins. And let me just say, if twins comes out of Jasminder when she has her baby, I'm going to freak out because <laughs> I already had to rearrange the toddler room because some of you on the speed reno yesterday we're like um the toddler bedroom doesn't have a window like why would you do that kind of thing like no hate but like ah so i did fix that and i'm gonna upload the fixed version on the gallery um because yeah um i'd rather sacrifice the window in the bathroom than the toddler's bedroom so we did that and we fixed that but there's not a lot of space in the apartment but it's actually one of the apartments in um in the sims that's actually like well um, like the space is well executed I guess you could say because like I have a little hallway it's like a realistic type of space for an apartment it's not like too big and it's not too small like you can easily fit like a two-bedroom in there and it's just perfect like, I really like the um I really like the bath the bath <laughs> I really like the apartment um but with the Vitas again like I didn't really have to change much and like as far as their face facial features i really didn't want to mess with too much because they are so gorgeous um but i did take jasminder's uh skin I, like her actual skin tone i just slid the slider down just to make her uh more warmer darker that's just like my preference is what i just see them as so it's not like i'm saying oh she's not good enough light like this i just wanted to make her darker just because that's how i envision them if i was to make them for the game or whatever so i just loved that type of complex but i didn't really have to do much with him and i didn't even know what kind of hair to put on aran because like the hair that he has kind of fits him so I, I went back and just gave him more of like a messy kind of short look and um i love it they both have their own styles i wanted to keep their styles true to who they were except for with Arun. i think if you um are on if you see i'm sorry i'm just trying to pronounce his name right because i hate when people like don't try to pronounce things right like who was it mcat sims i said jez minder and she was like it's like jez like min min minder like minty and i was like oh okay so i want to make an effort to like fix that i i'm when i tell you i hate when people know that they're saying something wrong and then keep saying it wrong like it's so rude and i think it's because like i've been around like so many people like i went to a very like uh privileged school and then people would do that a lot and i'd be like oh my gosh just try to get the name right you know like just ask the person how they pronounce their name and then just say it but hey that's my rant for today <laughs> 
<laughs> because like that's like me i would always say more time when people were like it's mortimer and i'm like oh okay i'm gonna try to say mortimer from now on you know i just it's someone's name you don't want to butcher that but yeah jesminder and aran um i love i don't even i went on that rant and now i don't even know what i was talking about oh yes the pants now you guys please forgive me for this i use some kits i use the enchian arrivals and the oh, what's the other kit Oh, I can't remember it, but I you I can't remember the name. Someone like just take away points from the test cuz obviously I didn't understand the assignment when I came today cuz I don't know. I I forgot. I didn't come prepared. Um I just I came to talk to you, but I didn't come prepared on like how I just look this this makeover took me an hour and 15 minutes. I went in here and I was like, "You know what? By to by the end of the night, I need to have them done. I just put up the build. I need to have this family done because I need to start playing with them because there's no way I'm going to play with them without a makeover. <laughs> um, that's what I was talking about. I wanted to keep just Mender's style definitely to herself. I implemented colors and things like that. I just modernized their fashion, I guess you could say, because now, now we have so many packs, which is a good thing and a bad thing, and kits, good thing and a bad thing. But a makeover of the Vitas from three years ago will look completely different from a makeover today because we have so much more. So with Aran, I kind of strayed away from his city living attire. I think I implemented like a sweater or two from there, but, um, oh, and then the tuxedo, but I wanted to give him like a look um, that would fit his career choice. So right now he is in the like tech career, but I'm actually gonna give him a different career that I feel like would fit him a little bit better and fit his aspiration and just how he um, moves just according to his traits and stuff. Cause I didn't want to judge Mm. I didn't want to touch the uh, traits and stuff so I kept that as it was it says that she's romantic and I think I changed her to high maintenance because I wanted to play with that new spa day update and I felt like you know what just because I'm playing with uh you know these sims from city living doesn't mean I can't like explore a different avenue for them because the game as a whole right now is different you know so i don't know i might change it back to romantic because i didn't even realize that that was the trait that i sacrificed but i might change it back because i love the idea of her being a, a little hopeless romantic because i'm a romantic i love love cuddle me like tell me you love me 10 times a day i'm kind of like that i don't care I'm, look i'm proud i'm a lover not a fighter but yeah i think i'm gonna change that back because i really seriously think that i changed her to high maintenance just so that she could like have to go do yoga and i and it would force me to get her out of the house but <laughs> oh yeah and just like really quick just to touch base with it guys um i know i mentioned making a new lp you guys know this for the longest time i've been talking about it and i have two ideas that i'm narrowing down to and i don't want to say anything but you can guess if you want or or give me your ideas in the comment section but um two ideas that i'm narrowing down to obviously a kid or so or more may be involved because i am kind of family oriented but being that i don't see the sims releasing any more expansion packs or anything this year i pray they surprise us i am going to dedicate this lp like be dedicated to it because there won't be interruptions and so i'm really trying to narrow down my ideas and get it started and get the sims for that made and just ready to go and pop in and hopefully give you like a good 15 at least 15 part series I don't like long series because I can't follow up with things that long. So uh, unless it's like a challenge, but this won't be like a challenge, you know, so it'll be like a legit hands on series. But if you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just keep simming. Always, always, always stay wavy. And I will see you in the next video. You guys stay tuned. Um, I love you so much. I really do. Um, oh, yeah. And I forgot. This is our cat. Our Japanese bobtail, his name is Eddie. I'm trying to rush and talk because the video is about to end. This is our cat, okay? His name is Eddie because we adopted him and that was his name originally. But yeah, peace out, guys. I love you. Bye. You can't keep